deaths of so many children and brave faculty members at the Sandy Hook Elementary School. We are hearing from a Narragansett couple that is grateful that their young grandchildren made it out alive. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Shearer has that story from the mobile newsroom. We spoke with a Point Judith grandfather whose son and family live in Newtown, Connecticut, which is about a two and a half hour ride from here. He said when he first heard the news, he was panic stricken, but then he quickly learned that his family survived the shooting. Bob and Penny Taylor sit next to their Christmas tree in their Point Judith home, feeling emotionally conflicted in the wake of the Newtown, Connecticut school shooting that killed 20 children and six adults. They are sad yet relieved that their two grandsons are alive and okay. Seven-year-old Nathan and 10-year-old Joshua Taylor attend Sandy Hook School where the shooting occurred, but both boys were unharmed. My emotions are almost like a butterfly. You know, I, I, I go back between angry and sad. Taylor tells me he first heard about the shooting on the car radio and called his son as soon as he got home. He and his wife say they are heartbroken for the families and the small little town. And then, you know, you look, here's a Christmas tree, right? These families went home and they looked at a Christmas tree. They looked at the presents under the tree. And for them, there will never be another Christmas. They just don't know how to process it. And these people lived in this little pastoric life, and then it was shattered in one moment, mm -hmm. forever. Taylor says we'll never really know the answer to why this has happened, but he doesn't believe guns are the issue. Why are these things happening? Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, it's like, well, is it the violent video games that the kids are watching? Is it the gangster rap that they're listening to? Is it the fact that we're trying to take Christ out of Christmas everywhere we turn? Taylor says, ironically, a few years ago, Newtown was named one of the safest places to live in the U.S. He said now that town is in the process of planning 20 funerals for young children and six adults. He says he doesn't know if this town will ever, ever recover. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.